Hi everyone, welcome back to Style Novice. I'm back with another step-by-step -step sewing tutorial. So whether you're an eco-warrior or you just like to have homemade things around your house, you're looking for a gift idea or you're looking for another kitchen sewing product, today I'm going to be sharing with you some unpaper paper towels. So some reusable fabric towels that will fit on your standard paper roll holder. So keep watching if that sounds like something you may like to make. To make your reusable fabric towels you will need an exterior fabric, something like a cotton or flannelette, an interior fabric, this is for the cleaning, so something like terry tailing or microfiber cloth, some cotton and bobbin thread to match both fabrics, fabric scissors, sewing pins, a fabric hole punch, 15 snap domes, a snap dome tool and hammer, iron and ironing surface, ruler, pen, an empty paper towel or cling film roll and elastic. Step 1 is cutting your fabrics. You'll want to start with washed and ironed cotton. Cut 6 equal squares from each fabric at a size of 31cm by 31cm, that's 12.2 inches. Step 2, sewing the fabrics together. On your work surface lay out one interior piece, good side facing up. And on top of this, place one exterior piece, good side, facing down. Your good sides are now together. So the type of microfiber cloth that I use, the fabrics stuck together with static alone. If yours don't, pin these two layers together. Mark or pin a small gap at the top of each square, large enough to get your hand in to turn the fabrics the right way out once sewn. Sew from one pin around the entire edge of the square using your sewing machine footer as a guide and stopping at the next pin, back sewing at each end, and repeat for all squares. Step 3 is top stitching. Trim any excess fabric from around the corners. And using the gap you created by leaving a small gap open, turn your squares the right way out. Fold under the open seams within the gap and pin. Sew around the entire outer edge of your squares using your sewing machine footer as a guide and closing the open gap as you sew. Next sew from one corner to the diagonal opposite, starting at the stitch line you've already created and repeat in the other direction. You'll now have a cross pattern on each side of your squares. These prevent the fabrics from moving and bunching when the cleaning cloths are being washed. So from the corner of your top stitching, measure 2 cm or 0.8 inches along your diagonal stitch line and mark. Punch holes on these marks in each four corners of each square. So snap dome closures include four pieces per dome. Two pieces create the base and the other two pieces create the top that closes over the base. Some packs come with a small hammer plate and tool to attach them and this is what I am using. So that the cloths can attach to each other on the roll, the bottom of the snaps will be on the right hand side of our cloths and the top of our snaps on the left hand side of our cloths. With your square facing good side up on the table, place the dome top into the top left hand hole you've just punched in the fabric. This is the smooth finished edge of the dome that can be seen when the dome is closed. Turn the square over and place the dome top within your hammering plate. On top of the dome top's arm, place the corresponding backing piece. It'll be the most roundest shape of the remaining pieces. Hammer these two pieces together from the underside of your fabric using the dome closing tool. So the two dome pieces, once hammered with the tool, fold the straight edges of the middle bars down, thus permanently connecting the two metal pieces. Repeat the above steps for the remaining two pieces on the right hand side of your squares. Come up from the underside of the square with the arm piece, and close by placing the remaining flat piece on top and hammering together. 
So on to step five, which is preparing the roll. Take your elastic and pull it taut around the roll and cut to size so that the ends can overlap when stretched over the roll. All our squares have the top piece of the domes on their left hand side, so on our elastic pieces that are going to slip onto the empty roll, we need to attach the bottom portion of the dome. Fold your elastic into a round so the ends are overlapping enough to attach the bottom half of the dome. Use the same instructions as previously to attach these to your elastic. You'll need two rounds of elastic like this. Slip these elastic rounds around your roll and adjust the position of them so they align perfectly with the domes on your cloths. And step six is of course attaching your cloths to the roll. So attach one cloth to the roll and continue to attach all cloths to each other and simply roll them all up. Step 7 is you can create an optional roll closure if you wish to keep the end of the roll tidy on your countertop. You may like to add another round of elastic, this can even be made of coloured elastic to suit your chosen fabrics or you could sew some fabric ribbon ties and corresponding fabrics to match. So congratulations your roll of reusable fabric towels should now be complete. So that is it for today's tutorial, I hope you enjoyed the idea behind it and making this project with me today. Just like my previous couple of tutorials, if you'd like to purchase the written and photo step-by-step -step instructions, please do head along to my Etsy store which will be linked below and be sure to be subscribed so you are the first to know when more tutorials go live. I'll see you next time, bye!